Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this 100 emoji inside Microsoft PowerPoint and this tutorial is special for two different reasons. One reason is that we will be using a tool which we will probably use only for this tutorial and for nothing else because there is no other usage for it. The second and more important reason why the tutorial is special is because uh, this is my number 100 tutorial recorded this year. So uh, I don't usually ask for anything, but uh, I will make an exception today. If you like what you see, if you like my tutorials, I would like you to ask if you can help me, you know, in any way, whether it's sharing it, uh, those tutorials on any social network or just subscribing to my channel, hitting the like button or maybe writing some comments, watching my other tutorials. It means a lot to me because it gives me the energy to continue since, you know, I don't care about the numbers that much, but right now the views I, are kind of disappointing. So. Hopefully that would change in the near future and you know, that's it for my little personal message. Let's jump back to the tutorial itself. So I will jump to blank presentation where I already have this logo pasted in and I will probably start by fading this image. So select format colors and I will select this gray preset and I will zoom in as much as I can just so I can see at least part of the logo or part of the emoji, which could be maybe this uh, symbol or digit one. And what we will be using today is a shape called the freeform. Now we are using the freeform shape in many tutorials, but usually when we do use this shape, we just, you know, click around and add the vertices like this. And then we may adjust those, some of those to make this a little bit rounded or, you know, move it around. We will be using a little bit different technique. So if I select insert shapes freeform, what I can do is I can, you know, just click and drag it to any point and it will give me that shape now because I'm using my mouse and because it's sampling and it, at a very high frame rate if I right click and select edit points you can see we have a lot of different points so it almost looks like a very like a rough line which you know usually is what we don't want but this time that's exactly what we want so I will select insert shapes I will select freeform you know just by holding my mouse and dragging it around the letter or digit one I will try to somehow trace it. Now keep in mind that once we trace this uh, digit, it will be very hard to make any adjustment just because there are a lot of different points. So you want to be as precise as possible. I mean, tracing the outline, of course, the line will be rough, but that's what we are looking for. So I will continue with the digit zero. So insert shapes free form and I may start start in here. And again, I'm just using my mouse and you can see just because there are a little bit of imperfections. I cannot just trace it properly. That's perfectly fine in this case because we are getting this rough shape. Okay, it's probably a little bit more rough than I would like to, but once I move it away from the origin logo, you will probably not tell a big difference. Okay, so I will trace this, this uh, zero digit one more time. I could probably copy this, but just to give it a little bit more hand drawn or rough shape effect. I will just trace it one more time. Then I will trace those two lines. So again, insert shapes, freeform shape, and I will trace it like this. It's fairly easy. And I will trace the second line as well. So this will be the last shape. And I'm really not trying to like wiggle my mouse. That's, that's just done by worth it kind of things that I'm wiggling my mouse a little bit. Okay, so that's fine for the shape. I will select all those shapes. I may group them together holding the control G on my keyboard, move them to the side as well as the logo itself. I will reset the colors from this one. So format, reset picture, and then I will sample the red color. So format, shape fill, I will use the eye wrapper tool to sample the red color. And I will set the outline to no outline. And if you look really closely, you can see there is a little bit of like an inner shadow in this in here. So I can right click select format shape and I can quickly try to add the inner shadow. So in here I will select effects shadow and for the preset I will select any of those inner, but I cannot because those shapes are already grouped and I cannot add the inner shadow for the group. So I have to first ungroup all those shapes. And now when I select the preset for the drop shadow, I can see the inside top left drop sh uh, inner shadow, which I'm looking for. I just need to change the color of the shadow. So I'll use the eye wrapper tool and try to sample as the darker thread, which I could from the original logo, maybe this one. I may still use the more colors dialog and make this a little bit darker like this. Okay. And I'm pretty satisfied with the result. If I zoom out, you can see we get a little bit, you know, maybe it's too much for the shadow so I can still fade it using the transparency slider like this. 
but uh, besides that I'm pretty happy with the result so that's how you create a 100 uh, emoji inside Microsoft PowerPoint in almost no time thanks for watching